Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and today I have the review of this Asus travel router. The model name of this is Asus 330N 3G and this is uh, one of the world's smallest travel 6-in-1 router according to Asus. And this is a really niche device. This is basically for someone who travels a lot but he needs uh, basically internet connectivity via means of 3G or Wi-Fi and this router basically performs uh, six in one functions i'm going to talk about all of those now in the review so let's get on with the review this router was given for review from directly by osis computers and i really thank them for the same uh, let's first get on with the physical overview uh, the router is really small in size let me give you an idea about the same this is a card that is uh, exactly in the shape of a credit card and I'm placing the router over that and as you can see it's even smaller than a credit card. Uh, on the front we have four LEDs for power, Wi-Fi, Ethernet connectivity and a 3G uh, LED. All these LEDs light up in blue color and on the side we have one Ethernet jack and this is for power. We get a power adapter with the same but you can also power it via a USB and we have one more USB 2 slot this is for your 3G data card. On the other side there is nothing and on the back we have a reset switch. Overall the product is really small and Osis provides us with this handy carry pouch. As mentioned earlier that this router can function in six different modes and to demonstrate that I'll log on to the admin interface and explain you about the same. This is the default admin interface that you see when once you log into the admin panel of this Osis uh, travel router. The admin interface can be found on 192.168.1.1. As mentioned earlier, this router actually uh, has six in one function and here are all the different functions that you can uh, set with this router. The first basic function is that this uh, router can function like a normal wireless uh, router. Uh, thereby you can attach your broadband basically connection to the ethernet port and it will trans uh, basically it will become a wi-fi router basically whatever functions that are offered are basically displayed over here next we have the access point under this the router can function like a normal access point next is basically the repeater option by using the repeater mode basically uh, we can actually extend the range of an existing Wi-Fi network and it's really easy to do the same. Uh, I have tested this and it works great basically. You can uh, also use it to basically extend a wired uh, network range or a wireless. It works with both. For example, uh, let's say these are all the wireless networks that I have. Now let's say if I want to basically increase the range of this network basically i click on the same if it's my network i click on the same and basically i have to press connect and if i know the password then it will basically uh, rip, uh, basically extend the range of this wi-fi network uh, another interesting thing is that this uh, router can also work as a network adapter basically by this what you can do is basically let's say you have a device for let's say a uh, game console which does not have built-in uh, Wi-Fi connectivity but it has an Ethernet port so basically you can use the Ethernet port on this router and connect it to your or uh, basically a gaming console and uh, it will get the internet net connection via Wi-Fi so it works in the reverse direction also next we have the Wi-Fi account sharing and this is really interesting uh, basically for a person who travels a lot in a hotel or something let's say you are in a hotel and you pay for Wi-Fi. Generally, uh, while you pay for Wi-Fi, you can only access that Wi-Fi on one particular device. But by using this router, you can extend basically, uh, you, you, can, uh, you can actually create your own Wi-Fi network using that single Wi-Fi. So effectively, you'll be just paying for one Wi-Fi device. But because of this router, as it creates one more Wi-Fi network, you can access n number of devices on that other network. You can also share your 3G connection over Wi-Fi by connecting your 3G data dongle and I'll show you how to do the same. Now we'll be testing the 3G functionality of this Asus travel router and we're going to plug in a 3G data card. This is a Huawei based uh, data card. The model name is E122 and we're going to plug this in in the USB port. The only con that I have with this device is that you need for 3G functionality, you need to add a data card. Uh, it would have been great if uh, 
uh, directly a sim could be uh, attached to this uh, router but sadly that's not provided so we need a data card and i insert that a uh, data card into the usb slot uh, do note that uh, the router is being powered now directly by, via the computer not via the adapter this is uh, directly connected to a usb port and that is directly powering this osis travel router and the 3g light is blinking over here and we need to go to the add build control panel and configure this again and we'll and i'll show you how to do the same and to finish the configuration of the 3g network we need to log into the admin interface and here we need to go to the 3g sharing option i haven't done anything and currently it has automatically basically set the detected it let's see if it's working if not we will make the changes let's try to go to tech2bus.com and as you can see i have not done anything i have not done the setup or selected any modem uh, it is automatically now working with 3g kudos to osus for the auto setup basically as you can see in the 3g option it has been set to auto and uh, we have basically this is a hsdp connection that's a 3g connection so we selected that and basically i have set it to auto and auto detected my uh, data card but you can also go manually configure the same if required uh, these are the i'm just going to scroll through the entire list of uh, the adapters that are found these are the basically uh, 3g data cards that are supported just have a look at the same also refer to osis website for the latest uh, 3g data cards that are supported uh, with this wi-fi travel router so that's how you basically configure 3g on this uh, travel router it's pretty easy and seamless and it works without any issues so overall uh, the the performance of the router was pretty good i have tested it and uh, i got good range and basically i was even impressed by the wi-fi range that was offered by this router i was able to get a decent wi-fi signal for about uh, up, up to 30 feet and that's really good for such a tiny device i use this router continuously for a couple of hours it gets a little bit hot because of its tiny size but it performed brilliantly and it did not uh, drop any connections while i was testing it one uh, thing that i have with this uh, router is that there is a usb 2 port on the router but on this usb 2 port you can only connect a 3g data card if you try to connect a storage device like a uh, pen drive or a portable hard drive you cannot access the same so the usb 2 is limited to just data cards to conclude this review this is a great product for and a niche product for someone who travels a lot this is a great device and this is really tiny and you can actually travel with the same so i highly recommend this product and that's it for now i hope this review was helpful if it was helpful please click on the like button given below you can also subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button given above that's it for now this is ranjit for tech2bus.com and hopefully i'm going to see you in my next review